Hello lovely people, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Time here is around 7.15. I already sh uh, did shoot a video about uh, fragrance from Mason Alhambra and I promised you I'm going to do uh, Eid, like an Eid list. Many of you uh, expect this list from me and a uh, couple of requests. So during Eid for Muslims, we have like twice a year. First one was uh, after one month of, you know, Ramadan. Second one is going to be the sacrifice, sacrifice, you know, for Muslims, like every uh, country where they're Muslims, they celebrate. So it's in a couple of days time and people are preparing. The city is kind of empty. I'm enjoying the city, peaceful and quiet. I sort of shot a video in the rain, the previous ones. I picked a little bit of headache after the walk and all, but I'll try to keep it short. Okay, so let's see the review and list. I have 12 fragrances. I covered them like half of them are freshies, half of them are a bit darker. So day and night, you can say. And you know, you can do whatever you want. You feel free to wear whatever you like, your signature scent. You don't have to do what I'm telling you. I'm just doing a list for festive season. So wishing everybody Salamat Hari Raya, uh, Adha in Malaysia, Eid Mubarak and uh, happy to all the muslim all over the world so let's start so i have a couple of fragrances in this list which i haven't reviewed individually so uh, i'll do them in upcoming days so please wait for them i'll just talk briefly on them so i'll start with such a fragrance is this one number one is gonna be uh, mason alhamra like latafaz line called signature number three i don't know how many are there but there's a cute little bottle with a beautiful juice color this one is a beauty it's a beauty i'll talk about it when i review it so this is in same vein with uh, lot of us rave now you know those pineapple vibes you know if you like those kind of fragrances shock uh by swiss arabian that style but more oomph to it like more performance and more a little bit of darkness you can say this is a more uh closer to a darkness of i'm not gonna say aventus but it's a dark pineapple scent okay so you can wear this for daytime you can go wear this and uh, i mean you can wear this and go to prayers okay so this is called mason alhambra latafa signature number three i'll review this soon that's like my number 12. number 11 i'm gonna go with one of my favorites i always love this fragrance polo blue edt if you haven't tried this fragrance this is one of the classic most fragrances ever in men's game and i think this is one of the most pleasant releases like ever like versace purum and this carry the same value like hold the same value to me okay this one is a bit ozonic lighter aquatic a little bit of cucumber i think and this fragrance uh it's like some people say it's a little bit of a mature vibe but i will tell you like anybody can wear this okay and the price is a little bit high now 65 75 bucks if you can get a small bottle that would be perfect so i suggest this if let's say the day of eid it's very very sunny you know the blue skies and all that uh, so if you're going out in this kind of time you can wear this it's lighter and it goes perfectly with the high heat polo blue edt number 11 number 10 okay yeah number 10 i think i'm gonna go with one of my favorites this is easily one of my favorite fragrances and if you especially like Bleu de Chanel, you would love this. This is Armaf Club de Nuit, uh, iconic. Okay, there are four releases, the new releases, like not new now. They have some have been in the market for some time. This is one of the best for summer. If you like Bleu de Chanel, and uh, this is actually a bit expensive. Okay, nowadays it's picking up up to sixty-five, seventy-five dollars different countries, but it's still a better value than uh, something like Bleu de Chanel because Bleu de Chanel nowadays are way expensive like i'm never gonna buy blood chanel again i asked the price edp is selling for 220 dollars for 100 mil not gonna do it i rather have 105 ml of this stuff like backup bottles okay really good stuff clean fresh citrusy blue and has its own kind of citrus i just love it this is one of the best one of the best uh, bangers like longevity is through the roofs so definitely you can check it out for eat day i highly recommend that club Inui, iconic man so next one uh 12 11 10 right number nine is gonna be this fragrance next one is gonna be a bit upper class latafa perfume which i haven't reviewed on my channel i just got it a while back and this fragrance is uh something i will compare this with bulgari tiger because this was what it's similar to this is called latafa pride line this is their niche light it's called alkyam silver so there's one called alkyam gold i think that is a clone of something um i don't know something dark okay uh, i can remember at this point what it was but um this is really really nice this one the bottle game is like just stunning i just love i'll talk about this in my review i just want to ruin your day by describing the bottle here this is very beautiful bottle but the smell is so nice okay if you have been a fan of uh afnan's uh the one turati blue or uh you know like the what's the other one uh 
Rue Broca? No. Man, that fragrance. Where is that fragrance? I have it somewhere here. Uh, I had it. Where do I keep it? I'm so sorry, man. Yeah, but anyway, I'm talking about Theorem. Yeah, Theorem. I have it in that box somewhere there. So if you love those, this is much higher class, cleaner, really zingy. Just uh, wait for my review. I'll talk about it. Very long lasting. Okay, so definitely check it out. This is lots of a more expensive line, not the regular line. So they're going to cost you about $50, $55, depending on where you buy them from. This is a definitely great fragrance. I will tell you one thing. Just uh, in short, I had uh, Tiger. I kept the bottle still, but I think something wrong with the bottle. A uh, bottle finished very, very quickly than I expected. I'm never going to buy Bulgari's Tiger again because I have all these alternatives. Okay. You can wear the Tura Theo Theorem, but this is really good if you can find it. Alkyam Silver. So that's the, uh, let's just give it fourth. I hate going reverse. I don't remember. Number five, I'm going to go, if it rains, you know, this fragrance, you can tell by the name what's going to be up. Is what Bulgari's Man renaissance okay so bulgari's man renaissance is one of their latest flankers and i almost sold it off for a reason i don't know maybe um i don't know i'm just upset with something i don't know i was almost letting it go like my favorite so far is terra essence and man in black these are my favorites but renaissance is kind of like a lighter take on this line it's almost like cologne so it has this not much of rain but it has a tea note citrusy tea and it's kind of like a light you can say you know like a light uh, very uh, you know if you want to relax if you had the whole day you were walking around and you know you just had a headache you drove around in the sun try this fragrance out if it rains especially comes down and uh, the rain comes down on a cloudy day of eve this would be perfect renaissance by bulgari man line number six the last of the uh, freshies this is on the niche side i actually think this fragrance works better in winter but i think you can still wear it if you like barbershop type of perfume with the citrus this is called uh Zerja fiero from the Casa Murati line. This fragrance is superb, beautiful. If you like Mephisto, Mephisto Gentilumo, a little bit different. I think this fragrance, it's reminiscent of Dior's Usabaj in the opening. But then, man, this is so stunning. You need to smell this stuff. If you like Parfum de Marli Sedli, this is even more stunner than that. This fragrance has great longevity. Check it out, called Fiero, if you want to wear something niche. So six gone, last six. So, or first six rather. Okay, so I'll start with night time you know if you're going out and uh, you know you want to smell a little bit sweet you know like uh, you're wearing punjabi or kurta what you call you know in india pakistan if you're wearing a little bit traditional dress you want to go out like invitation you know you go to your cousin's place relative's place i would highly recommend this one mercedes-benz club black this is a stunning perfume you guys know it boozy vanilla and masculine sweet beast mode it's discontinued or hard to find now price have gone high but I'll still tell you, this is a fragrance worthy of collection. Mercedes-Benz Club Black. That is beautiful. Next one, uh, number eight. Uh, you can say this has some freshness up top, but it's a bit uh, sweeter. I think it's great for nighttime. Versace Rose Parfum. You can get EDP, EDT. Just avoid the EDT. Either wear EDP or Parfum. Uh, reason being, they have more potency. Okay, This one, they say they added some leather or something. I don't remember. Or oud. I don't know. I did not feel that vibe. It's just the same old Versace. Uh, Ver Versace. <laughs> Nowadays, I'm confused because I saw a video and I'm saying it wrong all the time. But Eros, basically, you guys know the mint and then the green apple, the tonka and vanilla. That's the combo. This one, it's really, really nice to wear at nighttime. You will smell it like eight to 10 hours and it's so sophisticated. It's just nice. It's the same with Eros. You can have any version you can wear, no problem. Just with the EDT and EDP, spray more. But I think the EDP is the best for value. But I recommend today Eros Parfum for nighttime. Let's say if you're going for a drive, that's a good fragrance. Next one is one of my latest buys. I have to recommend this because I'm loving it so much. It's more, it's really, really pricey. $110 for this is not worth that money, but I bought it. This Azaro Elixir, you know, the most wanted. Sorry, not Elixir, sorry. Azaro, uh, the most wanted Parfum, okay? Too many flankers, I forget the name, especially if it's not written on the bottle. This is a nice perfume. Okay, this is the kind of fragrance gets you compliments. Today, I'm not showing you Lanvi de Lom, Le de Chanel, or one of those popular ones. I'm showing you this because these are more modern. Not a masterpiece or anything, it's just a sweet, easy to love fragrance. It's just nice, it's sexy. If you love sexy, sweet, mild, spicy fragrance, try it out. As are most wanted, pop on. Last three are gonna be in the Oriental side, Middle Eastern side. These are for people who love to wear traditional dress if you want to wear for namaz or 
prayers in the morning and you like to wear oud kind of fragrance but you don't like to wear heavy oud uh, you want to stick to something uh, grand but at the same time not uh, like unwearable i think this fragrance is one of the most beautiful ever created called kalimat by arabian oud uh, these fragrance bottles are just beautiful and you guys if you haven't seen my reviews i think this one has a blueberry note yeah this one has a fruity note it smells a little bit like you can say 24 gold scent story you know if you know those fragrances where is my bottle at this is the oud edition so if you know this kind of dna this is more polished version more wearable very long lasting okay so kalimat i would recommend people who want to wear traditional jubba and stuff okay that's arabian oud second last one uh, this one i had to pick this is my personal favorite i just love it you don't have to love it as much as i do but this one is amazing it's called oud amazing this perfume if you have montels you are set you can use this fragrance for two three four years and the bottle is not gonna finish super performance just through the roofs okay sweet and there's like just a mild wood but it's very sweet there's a rose just trust me on this one it's a compliment beast okay i love it so much i think i recommend it for a special day just check out my review it's more expensive than many of the other ones but worth the money number one okay last seed i think i also recommended this or perhaps i do not remember but this is one of the more grand fragrances like ultimate the last perfume you want to wear on the eighth day let's say you're going for dinner or the second or third day and uh, you know your relatives gathered you're just having after dinner kind of coffee and sweets you know in bangladesh people can relate like desserts and all that and then you're just chit chatting there's some music going on nice little breeze it's raining outside this is the fragrance i feel it's gonna be the best have done by parfum de marley i do have about seven to eight parfum de marley's i usually recommend kalan or ojan you know some of the other ones are really really nice too they are really really great but late and you know there are a lot of other ones there but why i recommend habdan is the spices it's a warm apple spiced you know it's just so spicy it's masculine and this fragrance it's a you can say a hugo boss bottle i compared it with hugo boss bottle oud you know versace with noir but this is like a big daddy of all those okay so this is that ultimate fragrance you spray two to three times people will notice you excellent performance excellent excellent fragrance very polished underrated one okay so these are fragrances i recommend for eat 12 fragrances day and night time do let me know what you're gonna wear and have a very nice holiday i wish you all the best my malaysian friends bangladeshi friends indian pakistani whoever international friends arab friends wherever you are remember the most important thing of uh, eid is spending uh, happy times it's not about money the biggest animal that you bought show off it's about how you treat uh, poor people try to donate some money and i'm just requesting you you know this will make you so much happier and you it will be so much more fruitful you'll get so much blessing from uh, god and also you remember one thing that uh, always respect others you know if you're having just a humble request if you are sacrificing animals make sure you clean your area and then do not cause a pain to others like you know disturb others you know with the smell and you know like your garbage you know those things it's not pleasant so this is also uh, forbidden in our religion so make sure you're considered to everybody make sure you clean your area and then you follow the halal way to sacrifice the animals and all that uh, do not uh, you know put unprofessional people and all that you know i'm just telling you just make sure that you know you get the blessings from allah okay that's the whole thing of eid and then you can have a happy time you know have good food i wish you all the best drive safe and have a fantastic day. take care thanks for watching the signing out and upload this now bye bye